Welcome to the Hewlett Packard Enterprise Around the Storage Block video blog. I'm your host, HPE Storage Guy Calvin Zito. Hey, Storage Godfather Calvin Zito. We're at uh, Discover here in Las Vegas, and I've stopped by what used to be a really old friend, and that's Superdome Flex. I haven't really got an update what's going on in Superdome Flex, so we're going to get that. One, Mike, why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? So I'm Mike Woodacre. I'm an HPE fellow. I'm the system architect for the Superdome Flex. And we've had some enhancements to Superdome Flex that we're talking about here at uh, HPE Discover. What, what were those enhancements? So this we launched the platform about 18 months ago, and just a couple of months ago, we announced the second generation. So this is a new processor upgrade, new firmware, new management capabilities, new security capabilities. So we, we, we've got new memory technologies going into this platform. So we're super excited to build on the momentum we've been having. So for somebody that maybe doesn't know what Superdome Flex is, I mean, we've had Superdome forever. I remember being at, I think it was called Tech Forum when we launched Superdome Flex a long, long time ago, but or we launched Superdome. What is Superdome Flex? Yeah, so, so I like to say it's not your grandfather's Superdome, it's the, the key, and I really like, like the Flex name because what we now have, the old Superdomes were really kind of a mainframe style and you kind of had a fixed asset so you couldn't s scale it up to very large extremes and it was also a chunky initial deployment. With Superdome Flex, we've got a four socket building block so we've made that entry point much smaller, much more economic. So you're not buying all this high-end infrastructure, but what you can do is you can take that low-cost entry point, and then as you need to grow your resources, you just add another four sockets to it, cable it together, it's one system with eight processors and lots of memory. And then you can just keep growing, so it's pay as you grow all the way up to the rack here with eight, eight chassis, 32 sockets, 48 terabytes of memory. Right, so plenty, plenty of power when you Lot, keep scaling up. Exactly, but you can start small. Right, that's fantastic. How about if we take a look at it? Sure, let's let's do a drive-by on the details. Sounds good. So Mike, what are we looking at here? So this is the Superdome Flex chassis. It's the four socket building block. So we have four Xeon scalable processors. We're now using the second generation, some people know as Cascade Lake. So we have four of those. We have a total of 48 memory DIMMs. And what's cool with the second generation of the processor is we have support for both enhanced capabilities in the DRAM technology, so 128 gigabyte DRAM, LR DIMMs, and also the Intel Optane persistent memory DIMMs. So that's the key processing memory. Then the secret source of the system is what comes out the front, which is our memory fabric. So the, these ports at the front are where we cable together the chassis. So when you want to grow beyond the four sockets, you just cable it together to the second chassis to grow to eight, and then on and on all the way up to the eight, eight chassis uh, maximum. Then in addition to the processes of memory, this um, chassis comes stacked with IO capability. So in this configuration, we're showing how you can, we can support full height, double wide PCIe cards. So typically today we're plugging in GPUs to do some of our heavy uh, machine learning, deep learning calculations. But we've got lots of room for all other PCIe capabilities, NVMe storage, high speed uh, fabrics, for whether it's ethernet for general networking or high speed fiber channel 32 gigabit link. So, so we, we really do have a tremendous amount of capability within just the single chassis and, and then obviously as you, you add them together it just scales linearly in capability. So you, you talked about when we were looking at the front side the um, the memory attaching it all. Is what, what's the protocol or what is it? Is it something proprietary that we're using to have that memory? Yeah so this is our own proprietary memory semantic protocol so it's not like an ethernet protocol it's running cache line packets that's the magic that then lets us connect these boxes together as a single image, one and, OS. And so any CPU or any any box can talk to the memory and the other ones and just go grab the memory without it having to be some big interrupt to go grab memory out of another server if it was not connected like this. Exactly, we yeah. have very low latency, high bandwidth connection with, between the chassis. So, and we have an all-to-all -to -all topology. So going from any chassis to any other chassis in the rack is one, cable connection yep. so very low latency 
easy to scale your software. So for the customer that's watching this video that says, I'm not sure why I would use this, what are kind of some of the applications that customers would use uh, this, this Superdome Flex for? So the largest customer use case we have today is SAP HANA in-memory database. And the nice thing there is CIOs know, they, they don't necessarily know how their database is going to grow over time. But with this architecture, they can sleep easy at night because you can just add another module when you need a larger database. Then similarly, it's great for Oracle or SQL Server as well. But the other areas where we're actually starting to see some, some significant growth now is also other data analytic workloads, um, AI machine learning. And with the large memory footprint of these systems, we can get entire da huge data sets, 48 terabytes in the rack. So for things like graph analytics, it's a tremendous capability to be able to do random uh, lookups within that address space. So it really, it's, it's kind of a Swiss army knife. You can do all sorts of things, all sorts of programming models, because again, it has that single operating system, no matter whether it's one chassis or eight chassis. It sounds like a very powerful box. I appreciate you letting me take a look. I'd say one more thing we ought to tell people. Where can they find more about Superdome Flex? Okay, it's really easy. Just go to hpe.com slash Superdome. All the information's right there. Great. I appreciate you spending time with me. Thanks very much. I always love hearing from you on Twitter, where you can find me as Calvin Zito. And you can find our blog at hpe.com slash storage slash blog. Until next time, thanks for joining us.